scars of being a rock star right there. Well, I've had like, where it's actually torn open, it's been a blood blister there for a year and a half. Damn, dude. It wasn't bleeding as bad, but it's a big chunk, it's all white and stuff. No, I was always wanted to be in a band that, um, with a name that started with the word the, because I had never been in a band that started with the name the, so uh, I came up with the word the, and it was just me and Sam were the only two people in the band at that time, so he got to pick the other word, and so he came to me, came to me one day and he goes, I got the word, I got the other word, and he goes, eggnog, and so now we're the eggnogs. Where we come oh, from, yeah. 63 and 218 run like on the same like highway, and like instead of going on the 63 exit, we took the 218 because we thought they came back together, you know. Nope. But it turns out they don't. So <laughs> we we took 218 directly down and then took Highway 8 like over back to 63 and then came here and it was like and then we got pulled over and like Wichita or something what the fuck was it like Kiwani or something I don't know something crazy and some some fucking Pookie poopy yeah like heebie jeebie 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 like some town I don't know and it was this highway patrolman or sheriff or something and uh you gave me like an $80 ticket or whatever the fuck this like 65 or something when we're going 73 or on a 55. Because we were trying to get here on time. After the mall, That's why we were late. the mall. Or... Tell them what's coming up next. What's called? Oh, the worst band in the whole world. The we worst case scenario. <laughs> and uh, Ryan. <laughs> and Ryan, who's going to speak about Ralph Nader. And like everybody who can vote this year, Definitely check out Ralph Nader as a plausible alternative to corporate like. Graduated from Harvard! No good, no more! No good, no more. No more. Hey, you got the man. Hot car, three CD. Eight people will be playing later. I have to shave my palms every day. Well then, get some glasses. That's all I can say. That's, that's just not cool. That is so not cool. It's just telling you how it is. I love my if you want into my house, get a layoff masturbation. I love my penis and I love my hand. I mean, I mean, it's where it's at. You know? <laughs> Come on. Hey, I've tried my hand at sex. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. I've tried and succeeded. Jesus. <laughs> hey, what do I want? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. That's 
right, you know the shit. Hey, Griffin. Thank you. It's all about being a rock star. Putting on the pressure, isn't it? Well, you can trust me. I am Jesus, and I'm gonna say it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you slide because you've been good, other than all that lying you've been doing. Yeah, okay. Everything else. That stuff. Well, we won't talk about that. Right? The lying. I'll let it go. Dude, okay. Thank you. Just kind of, just start working on it. You know, it's. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Are you lying? No, I'm not. Oh, see? That's good. That's good. Oh. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. Say my name. Tell your friends about me. That's a commandment. <laughs> I just broke another commandment. No. God, that was on me. That hell. was on me. Come on. Don't worry about it. Yeah, going off to the right, and then you'll there will be another intersection where you have to stop, and like the building is right there oh, on that right corner. Off the yeah, but you right have to go around. Yeah, but then you have to go around the building onto this little side street to get Arby's. into the parking lot. Right. Yeah, there's okay. Rick, Rick. It says one flight up. Oh, uh, right that, and it's a gay bar and the light pink. Uh, that's like the best I can tell you. And you gotta go like around this way and then come around, sort of. Alright, give us your I, number too. Oh yeah. And for future reference. And where's blue balls? Do you have it? I think you're Oh yeah, we do. Rock across the T blue sea. Rock over every part of me. Rock across the T blue sea. show that made money. We put on a show, can I get your pen again? I mean, how cool is that? We put on a show that made money. It's so nice to pay people. Yeah, we were able to pay those guys from prescribed film $70 for playing. They're and you, and you know they didn't the even crowd. deserve it. Yeah, because they suck. I mean, they made that film like five years ago. They're just riding the coattails hey, of that. Dude. Like you could only hope it turned out this good. Man. It came through. The people came through. We're really happy. Would you say this, I'm proud this is your best show in Atomo? Yeah. Definitely. 
I'm uh, proud of all of us tonight, of the community effort. The Eggnog's website, so I can learn the lyrics for Hot Cock for the show tonight, because I still don't know them. Um, and who wrote the lyrics to Hot Cock? I made them up while we recorded it. That he was literally in the other room, writing the words to the song five minutes before we were going to record it. So they they were written somewhere. Now, I'm not saying they made it to a piece of paper at any point. <laughs> he was writing the song five minutes before we were going to record it. <laughs> just how, you know, Sam and I were just like, you know, we should start our own label and, you know, screw all that other stuff and just do it ourselves because it's easier and funner that way. DIY music. DIY. whatever. DIY. Do it, yeah, DIY. Do it oh. yourself. DIY music. Yeah. It's, it's about integrity. So that's what we do. It turned out, it started out as just, you know, a stupid name that we could put on the CDs and make us feel cooler about ourselves. So it's actually starting to turn into some something. Well last week. Me and Jay made a lyrics page on the website and went through and transcribed all the lyrics from the record. Now we have them on the website. Because <laughs> we made them all up while we recorded. Because that's how it started. It was always like Sam's got his idea. Where, uh, you know, this is what I'm going to do. This will be great. Oh, boy. Like he always does. And started a record label. And back when I played in a band with him, I said in the way I did then, okay, whatever. <laughs> like I did with most of most of his crazy ideas. But now it's actually working. So uh been trying to pry the shoe out of my mouth for a long time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's working out and I hope it gets bigger and doesn't go away because I think independent rock music is a good thing. You know, people coming together and doing things on their own rather than feeling the need to get really popular and get signed to a label. Jay, how much like time did we take like figure out the lyrics to the songs? Oh, we spent hours doing that. <laughs> it really was. It was sad. <laughs> where you've got to decide, do I want to follow my dream and be this ideal rock musician that I dreamed of one day, or am I going to decide that I need to make a living, that I want to live well? And I can't really condemn anyone for saying that they want to have nice things, because that's, that's the dream that you start out with when you're a little kid. I don't think any five-year-old says, I want to grow up and be in a rock band and live in a hut behind someone's house. No, they would I know, I want to grow up and I want to live nice. But you do what you can, you know. If you, if you want to play music, you can play music. And you can record it and you can put it out on your own record label and that's awesome. Hey, I got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking thing off of me. <laughs> or we're, you know, we're having all our favorite bands that we like. Plus, we've recorded several bands here at the house and are planning on putting out their records on our record. 
So we actually have artists, you know, for instance, the Poly, Poly Orchid Man and uh, Jacob Mathis. He's recorded CDs and they're putting them out under with our name on it. So when it was just us, you know, it was just a stupid name, but now we have other people. And Ryan H., several people, and Prescribed Films guys are going to comedy CD. We're doing all kinds of crazy, wacky stuff here. And so we're putting all those bands, you know, they're putting out records under the Poop Sickle, plus all our other favorite bands on this and to help spread the good word of Poop Sickle. And uh, I can't believe this background music. But, uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, fuck you. Damn, I'm like, I'm dry. This is all they do. This is what they do. I mean, they both. All three of them have jobs that they work to support their habit of playing music and playing in a band. Whereas I think in previous bands they've been in, there's been people who've had other ideas and don't work quite as hard, and that kind of destroys it, I think. Uh, I'm referring specifically to me. Because uh, I, play, I played in bands with Jason and Sam, and I think... Looking back, I was always the one who wasn't there because I didn't really want to do that. It was fun, it was great, and I had a good time. I like playing music, but I don't think that's that's not what I'm going to do for a living. That's not that's not my dream. That's not the big goal in my mind of where I want to be in my life in 30 years. Cool. What's making it work is that we've surrounded ourselves with people with the same goals and with people that, you know, have support to give, you know, like all of us, we, you know, the three of us, you know, we have, have the same goals and, you know, everyone, every band that we're with, you know, we, we meet the nicest people and everyone's supportive of everyone else, you know, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's where you're not a bad thing, and it's where you're a good thing. Right. You know, we appreciate your support, and everyone's in prescribed films. My God, they're making this crappy movie you're watching right now. <laughs> and, you know, there's just, you know, just kind of this great feeling of community there that's going on that I just dig it. And it just, everyone seems to be feeding off everyone else, and it's... My favorite part is take a stick, poke the poop into my belly, show that you really love me. Okay. Jay, that was Jay's lyric. They're actually doing it. Yeah. And that's what has to be done. They, they can't say, I don't want to do that because it's a lot of work, or man, that sucks. They just sit down and they do it all. And it doesn't affect them. Uh, it doesn't seem like hard work for them because it's what they really want to do. And that's how you know when you're doing the right thing. Is when it just stops feeling like work and you can just go through and not, not worry about it. <laughs> I think fuck you! Right there! Right <laughs> fucking there! Get the fuck is this shit on my face! And like everything they've done has been pretty good, right? And uh... So, poopsicle rules.
if that has to be the last one. <laughs> you fucking broke everything. <laughs> What did you think of the Eggnogs movie? Fuck, get the fuck out of my face! Let, no, fuck you! Think, you no, what did you think of the Eggnogs movie? Fucking suck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fucking done yet? <laughs> The eggnogs, no, out come of, on. The fuck out of my face. No, it's all right. You know, it's fuck just the eggnogs you. movie. Come Get on, buddy. Get the shit out of here. Hey, hey, now, hey. Stop repressing me. Hey. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> mean guy versus mean guy. I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> well, fuck you. Oh, time out. <laughs> Guys, can we play a song? Go time out. Here, here. Spike for you. See what can happen now. Oh, Too fucking. like shittiest brown we had like to make that, and I made it with the smeary letter to make it look like it was smeared with shit. I like that. I like it. Oh. You know, Pusuckle like Records, like our like record label. Like whatever to you know, once we just come up with the idea of wanting to put out a compilation of all our favorite bands, and it's of all the bands we've played with that that's, you know, our favorite bands from Cedar Falls, Iowa City, Tomo, you know, everywhere. It was our chance to put all our friends on it, and then all our friends will help. We'll sell CDs and for each one of those bands, we'll sell, everyone helps each other. And Yo, what's on it? Yeah. Okay, tell me about winning the Poop Sickle Contest. What was the contest in? The contest was naming uh, their uh, compilation. Who's all on the compilation? Do you, uh, worst case scenario? Like, every one of the favorite bands that, you know, that we've played with. Uh, Sweet. From here. Bastard, No Consensus, Vernon, you know. Sweet. Everybody. What was the winning name? Uh, what was it? It was uh, Greatest Poops. Shits. Poopsicle's Greatest <laughs> Shits. I sent, uh, let's see what else I sent. I sent Poopsicle the Gonorrhea Chronicles. There's like 12 or 15 bands on there. Poopsicle when the shit hits the fan. Um, it's a hit, but it'll be coming soon. Yeah, it was for everyone in the fan club on the email list. It was a contest specifically for them. Uh, thrashes, trashes, and shits. <laughs> what, what date is the compilation coming out? Real soon, stupid? we just gotta get the cover made. And... Twitter. Well, uh, I was on their mailing list because uh, for all the people in the family. Because I signed up when when they played the Legion the one time. I signed up to get on their mailing list with my internet, with my email. So they sent me their mail their uh, mailing that they send, and so it said we have a contest. Yada yada yada. Rules rules. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna send this shit. In. I hope there's no official entry form. And they like you know they they like don't take it because they didn't put it on an official form. I'd be like, ah. <laughs> so, you know. Let me go eat pizza now. Oh, pizza time. Okay, bye. So I have a story I want to tell you tonight. It's a first for me, too. It's called Mr. Schnitzel's Cookies. It's great. <clears throat> so here's Mr. Schnitzel. Right? Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Schnitzel swept out the last crumb of his neat little bake shop and dusted off the empty shelves. We might as well go down the shop, said Mr. Snitzel to his cat. There's nothing left to sell and nothing left to give away. Yeah? If only I had a few raisins or some cherries, even some flour. I could make something nice for our supper. See, he's got a cat. <clears throat> but I'm all out of everything. Uh, when Mr. Snitzel went out to fasten the front door, he waved to Mimi, who made such beautiful hats in our shop across the street. He waved to Mr. and Mrs. Manypenny in the grocery store. As soon as he stood in front of his bakery, he saw a thin, shabby man come up his oh, who cares? A man I once saw 
snort five bags of cocaine, and drive home. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand because from Las Vegas, Nevada, here's the motherfucking bastard! I'll tell you who is funky though, Echo and the Bunny Men. Those guys got so much fucking soul. This is an R&B song for all you people with soul. It's so awesome, like, we have this, this girl in this band comes up to us, she says, she calls me on the phone, right, a couple weeks before Christmas, she's like, dude, is there any way I can get all your eggnog CDs, and we're like, why? She says, well, my roommate has this friend that's, a, that's just a really giant fan of this band called the Eggnogs, and we're like, what? And she says, the greatest Christmas present I could get Spike is all the eggnog CDs, and we're like, why would that? Well, like, awesome, you know? So we made her, like, we got her all these CDs and made all the CDs and gave her all this extra stuff, and she got it. So, like, that was her greatest Christmas present was an eggnog's CD set. It was, it was really awesome. He said, he said, happy birthday, Jesus. Happy belated birthday. Because I dress up as Jesus, you know? And these girls give me this birthday card, and it says, you know, with love. From these three girls, four girls, because I, I was, yeah, these are the girls that gave me this awesome, awesome. 
awesome car. Spike. She's so. She's, <laughs> you're Spike. I'm the coolest chick in the world. That's right. That's what I was telling Besides you. Besides for me and she's here. Oh, okay. And she's the coolest chick in the world. She made the card. I mean, how? And I, almost I, looks like a Hallmark. I'm impressed. It's, it's, I, I was touched. I wanted to put you, put, make sure. It was really awesome. There's a special birthday boy in the room today. You all know who I'm talking about. Somebody had a birthday last week. Jesus. Jesus. So I'd like to lead everyone in a sing along to uh, give praise to my favorite little boy, the Son of God. might be doing a show at Peabody's with you guys. We're doing a bunch of shows with you in March. Yeah. <laughs> so you got Peabody's taken care of? If, like, well, the way I want to do it is I want to take, uh, what? <laughs> and then how long of a drive is it to Moline, though? An hour? Yeah, we're actually gonna do the sound ourselves. Like, I wanted to know, he like, originally the plan was to play Sal's and Peabody's in the same day. Well, we can, that's just insane though. And it took more than, or they took, their ice, they told us they were gonna take $50 off the top for the sound guy. And the sound guy did a good job and everything. It wasn't the sound guy's fault, but they ended up taking the $50 off our side. So we decided we were just gonna like run, be the sound guys for the night. Testify, brother. 
Storm. So why were you late this time? Because uh, uh, the brand Hot Carl from uh, uh, Dubuque got here late. So and they had to come Why were you late? Because we couldn't give them directions to the bar. Just to my house. And other stuff. Standing by the barrel, burning your pictures. Yes, I'm that spot. Now in your face, like any crinkle, has the fear in it. The hell is a green, this is a beautiful thing. We can do that. So instead of coming in on the bum, 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 yeah, four. We can do that. But I'm not even like that comfortable playing that song anyway. <laughs> took off around 3 o'clock and we had a show in Waverly at the last National Bank with the Hot Carls and the Worst Case Scenario and I'll be goddamned if some kids didn't come out that night and you know they were really I mean they really were responsive to what was going on and they even stayed and they were hanging out and it was all good Made a little money, sold some merch. Uh, that was good. Thank you all very, very much for coming out here tonight. Yeah. This is a song off our record, which will be out in late March. Oh, it's called luck. Triple Dig. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. It's a slow dance number, so everybody grab you a special solo next to you. Oh. And say slow dancing. And I know that's pretty punk rock, but that's what we'll do. Oh.
Hoopsicle compilation, number 69, attaching it to the shirt. Keep it, keep it going, Sam, keep it going. Come on, pimp it, buddy, pimp it. Come on, it's on a stick for crying out loud, come on. How often can you buy a CD on a stick? He's on the move, he's on the move. Civilization, and there's no heat at all when we got there, and it froze our fucking asses off. And Sam and Mike and I all shared one little bed, and that was my favorite part. <laughs> Being between Mike and Sam, let me tell you, a dream of mine. And uh, and it froze our asses off. Okay. Just go to the movie. Why? Why are women's feet shorter than men's? Yeah. So they can stand closer to the stove. Okay. Here's another one. Why? Why don't you buy a woman a watch? Why? There's one on the stove. Okay. Here's another one. How many women does it take to change a light bulb? How many? Days? Who cares? Let the bitch cook in the dark. <laughs> okay, here's another one. What's the first thing a battered woman does when she gets home from the hospital? Oh, he said this one thousand times. The dishes, if she knows what's good for her. Okay. What do, you, what do you tell a woman with two black eyes? Don't make me tell you again. Got up and. Left there about noon, coming to town, hung out at Joe's, and now we're here at Stebbs. It's almost nine o'clock. Bands are eating. Some change at all. It's the same line. Yeah, it's just A G E. How's it start? One, two, three, four. And it like twice, and then you go. <laughs> and then it is. And then he goes like that. And then stop the first back. four or something. What? Stop the first four. No, you stop the. 
cameraman's ass for getting in my fucking face. What was your least favorite part of this weekend? The cameraman getting in my fucking face. Well, today, 
We're going to Peabody's in Moline, Illinois. Okay. And uh, Saturday we're playing at Sal's Music Emporium in Iowa City. What uh, time is tonight's show? Tonight's show, I assume, is a your typical nine o'clock rock show thing. I just heard that it's. I assumed it was going to be a bigger place than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a club club, you know, with big P and everything, but I guess it's going to be a little, almost coffee shop, if you will. Oh. And then Sal's is a music store, actually the coolest music store I've ever been to. I'm not just saying that, it really is. <laughs> What time is that show? Sure? It starts at 6 on Saturday. Frodo from Iowa City is playing at both of those shows. And I don't remember the name of it. It's just going to be the two of us on, on Saturday at Sal's. And then some other guys doing a solo thing tonight. Peabody's show. Cool. That's all I really know. <laughs> Falls. One we did, one I did the four jumps. Oh, 
PH papers like that, you know, the ones that the consensus has where you can those pretty much. Did you climb on top of them? Yeah. Kind of Was it standing up or like yeah. the ones that they had? standing up. And like with the poor Adam from uh, Vernon holding it, like scared shitless that I was gonna die. Climbed up the top, jumped into the crowd four times. Like the crowd moved the first time. He's like, fuck that, I'll try it. And like, and then like I did it like three times and fell hard like each time. And then the fourth time the crowd served me. Just probably out of sheer sorry sympathy. For yeah. <laughs> I wanna go play. Yeah, you guys should go play. Um, so we can get home and party. Yeah, we're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get fucked up. We're gonna get naked. Okay, we're gonna buy a fancy pack of robotussin. These guys, I think we're gonna swear. So like, I can do the 
quiet snap on strap on. It's not any louder than anything else we're gonna play. Yeah, these on
And what's everybody's thoughts on this evening? Eight people at the show, two stayed, and the other six went. Yeah. Turn Frodo sucked ass. They're just fucking horrible. God. Oh, I thought I just wanted to smell. The camera's on. Got it. Nice. Todd was all right. Ooh. The rest of them just sucked. Todd Push was the, the best. Push the drummer. <laughs> Josh does this with the cameras on. <laughs> okay. He's the, the drummer guy. was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, would you say that it's probably your most disappointing show? Or? Um, disappointing show. Nope. No. The first one flight up show. We drove another hour and a half. The what show? One flight up, one in, flight Dubuque. up in Dubuque. We oh, drove yeah? four and a half hours, and then they told us there wasn't a show when we got there. Oh. So we waited a couple hours, and then four people showed up for the show. Did you guys get to play then? Yeah. Yeah, that. We just got done playing at Peabody's and Moline. I mean, of course, you want there to always, you know, want people to come. I'm just sad that, you know, no one took it seriously enough to do any promotion. To, um, I mean, it's a freaking business, you know. You want. It doesn't make sense to me in my head. You know, if you, you think you'd try, you know. Uh, you know, granted, we you know we got to play with our friends, and that was really good. That was definitely the best part, you know. But but we did drive three, four hours, you know, to to play to no one, you know. But like we say, I thought we did good, you know. My motto is five or five hundred. Five people, five hundred people, it doesn't matter. You still have to give them the same show. You can't, it just doesn't, it's not good to not try it. On to the next show. Woo! It's gonna be a good show tomorrow. Be a good show, Iowa City, Sounds. Yeah. It'll all be good. So, see you tomorrow, kids.
My name is Insane Mike, and we are here with the eggnogs. We're here rapping with the eggnogs today. So. <coughs> Rap. Yeah. <coughs> there you go. Hey, I'm good. How are you today, Mike? <coughs> a little constipated, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh! There's no problem. Crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> so, I want to thank you guys. It's great. <laughs> it's really good. Thank you very much. And who are you to see me when I don't have any skin on? And who are you to see me when I don't have any skin on? And who are you to see me when I don't have any skin on? And who are you to see me when I don't have any skin on? And who are you to see me when I don't have any skin on? And who are you to see me when I don't have any skin